Cadronas Park is one of the best, and it was graced with the talent to do it justice for the New Zealand Winter Games slope style. The Big Bucks jump line is as perfect as kickers get, with huge landings and speed to burn. While the park crew pride themselves on their Sistine Chapel levels of mastery when it comes to creative rail setups. Let's check it out on a lap with Ben Harrington. We got two features here on this first little rail section. I'm gonna go for the flat fire, safety slide. Gonna go under this up flat. Onto the flat bar, a little pat. Gotta keep it steezy for the boys. Coming in another flat rail, we got a can as the other option. Oh, back to tail grab. I'm gonna take the left side of this jump. A little safety, up and over. Second jump. Course three block. That's the money, Buddha. A full pull from the Australian, Japanese and Korean teams meant that the level in both ski and snowboard would be world class. Which offered invaluable experience for the young Kiwis who wanted to test themselves at the highest level. Cause it's so good, cause the big jump and big red. So uh, exciting. The weather was also set to test them though, and with the finals cancelled due to high winds, it would be qualifying results that would stand. In the women's free ski, Ruby Andrews, the 2022 Junior Slopestyle World Champion, has been going from strength to strength over the last couple of seasons. She's smashing it, she's absolutely on the come up, and she's very exciting to watch skiing, and she's made uh, huge leaps and bounds in the last couple of years and on home snow, she was unbeatable. Two technical yet immaculate runs left the judges no choice but to reward her with first. In the men's, it was another local, Luca Harrington, who was leading the charge. But crucially, he wasn't alone. Young gun Finn Melville Ives struggled on his first run but pulled it together on his second to claim third. Japan's Gen Fuji found his rhythm and settled into the course quickly, which earned him second. But Harrington, the silver medalist from the Junior World Champs, treated the course like his own personal stylist. His 95.67, the best score of the day. Ah, uh, you know, just always happy for a victory. I'm just so comfortable here after been growing up and skiing here forever, so uh, it's nice to be able to compete it on home turf and uh, yeah, I have such an amazing park that I'm comfortable with. On the snowboard side, the young Kiwis, Lucia Giorgiali, and Ava Beer pushed hard and both cracked the 90 point barrier with some very solid runs. But neither could best marry Fukada, whose 95.67 saw her take the win. Valentino Gaselli came sixth at the Beijing Games in halfpipe and is currently ranked fourth in the world at slope style. He is the only rider competing at this level in both disciplines. But a bag mix up in Queenstown saw him riding a rental board and boot. Under the circumstances, it was incredibly made the finals. The Japanese have exploded into the world of slope style and big air in recent years, and Tiger Hasegawa is at the forefront of that movement. He did enough to take third. Hiroaki Kunitaki threw the kitchen sink at the jump line and was rewarded with second.
but the top spot was reserved for Valentino Gazzelli's best mate and prodigy, Jesse Parkinson. The young Aussie rode beautifully for the win and is definitely one to keep an eye on. Considering the weather, the level of riding was incredibly high and for the winners, this represents the perfect start to a long and gruelling season. Pretty stoked, honestly, like a bit unfortunate that the boys didn't all get another shot to you know, put their best runs down, but overall I'm stoked.